An unprecedented operation was made by NATO 20 years ago uh, on Yugoslavia, justifying that uh, the government's denial uh, to uh, sign agreements. And that was the denial, biased agreements, before that uh, president had been accused of the Resak massacre. Miroslevi did not understand another language than the force, according to NATO. These agreements were conceived to be rejected because they uh, demanded the presence of uh, 30,000 soldiers of NATO on its territory with transit and full immunity permit. Years later, Henry Kissinger made this declaration to Daily Telegraph. It was a provocation, an excuse to start bombarding. It was a document that uh, never should have been presented in this way. And this is what he said. From all this, we had uh, death, terror, the destruction of a sovereign country of the old Europe, so civilized and developed. Crime in Yugoslavia, the successful war mo uh, model by NATO, is that exportable today? This is our critical move today. We start looking at news actors involved and uh, review the history and past uh, that enable us to place in context what is happening happening today. It's the history of an intentionated uh, dismembering in 1999. NATO started bombarding Yugoslavia, its military uh, facility and civil facilities as well, without the Security Council's uh, approval. It argued that it uh, sought to stop the ethnic uh, cleansing of uh, Albano Kosovars. And later on in 2004, uh, Albano uh, Kosovars uh, violently attacked the Serbians and caused the exodus of this uh, population. On February 17, 2008, the Kosovo facilities unilaterally declared its independence from Serbia, supported by the United States, several countries, uh, uh, allied countries, but it, at that time it was not recognized by Serbia, Russia, China, Iran, Spain, and Greece, among others. Today, we listen to the statements like this one. You need all the people murdered need that we uh, stay focused, proud, and ready to repeat to the end of the world that our people, our children, were not a mistake. The mistake was what others did, but not only a mistake, a crime. And we must not stop repeating it, no matter how strong they are and powerful they are. It was a crime against our children. It was a crime against our people. The aggression against Yugoslavia was an aggression that uh, was the first armed attack in Europe against a sovereign state since 1945. According to what has happened, what is happening around Syria, our Western partners, mainly U.S. and U.K., uh, become hysterical and uh, use public uh, uh, swearing using bar words like barbarian and crimes. I remember, I remind them that the uh, Republic of Yugoslavia uh, even had a Serbian transmission bridges that were used by passenger uh, trains. Thousands of people died, including hundreds of thousands of children, 150,000 refugees that have not been remembered since then. Without Russia and its reaction according to international law, they wouldn't have uh, forgiven us in many time in our history would have had another uh, uh, negative chapter. Russia took the only correct position at the time. We now go to uh, Russian news agency Sputnik that yesterday, March 24, 2019, published this complete work called uh, NATO's Aggression Against Yugoslavia, a, an impossible, a crime impossible to forget. 
There is a valuable amount of historic data in this article, also present data, and a full uh, gallery of images that allow us to understand what happened, a chronology of events. We have eight emblematic pictures here that talk about destruction as of 1999, uh, March 24, for su uninterrupted 78 days. During air attacks, uh, 25 uh, residential buildings, 470 uh, kilometers of roads, 595 rail kilometers of railroad, 38 bridges were just destroyed, daycare centers, 30 uh, medical centers, and 376 of heritage uh, pieces. According to Belgrade, uh, the damage inflicted on the country is between 30,000 and 100 billion dollars. Uh, there are different uh, numbers for victims until up to this date, no exact uh, data. According to this article, it is around 1.2 and 2,500 people died, and there were air uh, attacks against uh, 2,300 2, against, uh, against 225,000 uh, uh, installations. You can uh, visit this site and even have information as the most uh, uh, terrible cases of civilian people uh, that were attacked. I will now go to Prensa Latina that has uh, uh, more updated news, and they pay tribute to uh, victims of NATO's aggression to Yugoslavia. It was organized in what today is called Serbia, the legal successor of uh, Yugoslavia with an international so, uh, remembrance day, not to forget uh, the aggression of NATO in 1999. Uh, an act in the Cathedral of Belgrade in Later, uh, flowers were placed in the central uh, park of Takmakran, the capital, uh, and remembered a three-year-old uh, girl that was uh, uh, killed by uh, a NATO uh, projectile in, it, in her house. It pays tribute to more than 70 children died at that occasion. In, in, in Nice, the third the city of the country, 240 kilometers southeast of Belgrade. The uh, central uh, act uh, took place with the presence of the president, with the presence of the president of the republic. We now want to review an article published in Orden Mundial called Yugoslavia Josek Prostito, written by Paul Pila. Uh, expert in international relations and a master's degree in human rights by the Political Institute of, of Paris. It says, uh, during the decade 1960, Yugoslavia was a, a great example of how a multi-ethnic socialist state could operate successfully. <laughs> this added to uh, territorial decentralization were the main core of modern Yugoslavia. With the constitutions in 1953-1963, Yugoslavia was uh, power was decentralized in favor of republics. Tito pretended to reduce ethnic uh, pressures and balance the fiscal balance. <laughs> they adopted Yugoslavian identity. They could be a Serbian, Croat, Croatian, or Montenegrin. And the community uh, relations increased, especially the young people that took the doctrine of almost Yugoslavs. This author continues informing us about the history of Yugoslavia. <coughs> From the kingdom of Yugoslavia that was used uh, since 1918, uh, after the end of the 19th century, <coughs> 
Estados Unidos, Jorge Gestoso, no suma datos. From Washington D.C., Jorge Gestoso adds data that would be very valuable because he lived a very uh, interesting journalist experience uh, in the place uh, of the news. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, this is something I know personally because I had the opportunity to cover the war in Serbia. And perhaps the most interesting to underline were uh, the deep wounds that a war leaves. I visited the Kosovo province uh, south of Serbia, mostly Muslim, Alba Albanian, that was disputing with orthodox Serbians of the government. And uh, it was there where I could witness uh, firsthand uh, ethnical hatred, where houses are burned, people are murdered, uh, people are uh, pursued to uh, force them to leave the country, as uh, was the initial case of uh, Albanese Serbians that left to uh, countries like Macedonia. And then the, the, the return after uh, NATO started bombarding the government of Serbia, and uh, the people who pursued became the Serbians. To see ethnical, religious hatred is something that is strong. In 2008, Kosovo is a small province of barely 10,000 square kilometers with uh, less than 2 million inhabitants. Today, it is uh, Serbia still uh, not recognized, and most countries do not uh, recognize the Republic of Kosovo that declared independent, which is only accepted by few countries, including the United States and the uh, European Union. But the civilian population continues is absolutely fractured, fragmented uh, to this state after many years of war. This, uh, uh, beyond the economic topic, the political topic, uh, the individual, the neighbors uh, that live in this country are the great victims of the political games of the great uh, interests and great powers and great na and big nations. Thank you, Jorge, for this information. We wonder why uh, was uh, Yugoslavia uh, turned into Rios? What was behind this uh, uh, plan? These are uh, questions we will make to our analyst after this pause. Crime in Yugoslavia, a successful war model of NATO, exportable today, 20 years later. This is our critical move today. In uh, Misión Verdad, uh, Research and Analysis, a website of Venezuela, we find this article written by Rebecca Wetbal. Parallel government, an old format to destroy Chavism. Looking at it from a holistic point of view, we need to go to associate and look at uh, similarities and differences. In the next chapter, we find the Kosovo model of criminal institutions for export. In the case of the Republic of Yugoslavia, shows a perfect image of how foreign governments linked to the great capital bring with them criminal uh, vices of free market that alter the substance of society forever. The author says that after NATO's military inter intervention in Kosovo, they proved that uh, facts can be imposed to theory if conditions allow it. The United States unilaterally uh, proclaimed the independence uh, in uh, former Yugoslavia. 
We uh, would like to uh, recommend this article because it has very interesting data and especially gives us an idea of how that model can be extrapolated to countries like Venezuela. The NATO's crime in Yugoslavia. We continue looking at important topics. NATO was uh, founded in 1949, 70 years ago, with the initial intention to be a collective uh, security force with purely defensive uh, goals, according to its Article 5. But soon it became an alliance that perpetrated armed conflicts around the globe. After the Soviet uh, uh, w w fell, Na it was uh, we thought that NATO would lose its power, but the contrary happened, and its interference in different nations increased. We have tens of cases where that show this. Yugoslavia in 1999, NATO uh, carried out the Allied force with uh, 1,300 missiles and 1,400 bombs on that territory. After this, uh, uh, this country was destroyed with 2,500 mortal uh, victims. Until now, the worse than this uh, was uh, the so-called uh, long-lasting operation in Afghanistan left more than 1,700,000 uh, deaths. Another point was the case of Iraq in 2003. It was uh, a mere uh, invasion looking for massive destruction wep weapons that were never found. This uh, uh, war ended eight years uh, later, and uh, Libya started uh, prior uh, the approval of the Security Council. Kosovo left uh, so much destruction, and it's estimated that NATO launched between 10 and 15 tons of radioactive uh, waste. Uh, all kinds of abuses, including humane uh, crimes, and Yugoslavia, after this fragmentation, turned into seven republics, something that was completely traumatic in the world order we were talking about. Uh, that shows us uh, about the Yugoslavian decomposition, date of independence of Yugoslavia, and legal successors. We have uh, Slovenia. 1999, one, Croatia the same, Bosnia and Herzegovina, 1992, Serbia became the uh, legal successor of uh, Yugoslavia, Montenegro in 2006, Kosovo 2008, Macedonia 1991. This uh, map is very helpful for a critical move today. We will add analysis and connect directly with Spain, where Carlos Martinez is waiting for us, has a degree in law and collaborates in different international. Uh, I ask you, uh, what did uh, Yugoslavia represent by the end of the last century? Why was it destroyed? Good afternoon. Yugoslavia was a small country that was not integrated to neither of the two blocks uh, before the fall of the wall. But it was a, a non-aligned country that uh, had a self-managed economy and that worked reasonably well, in fact, much better uh, than its neighbors. Capitalism cannot allow uh, states and governments that uh, take their own decisions and uh, choose alternatives different to capitalism. This, the goal was to bombard uh, any uh, uh, government, and in this case, NATO uh, declared it uh, an enemy and uh, filled the world with uh, fake news that we know now uh, are called fake news and started bombarding the state uh, with uh, uh, infantry uh, of the for, uh, imperial regime and uh, 
y matando a todo el mundo que haga killed anyone who was necessary civilian or military but we have to remember several things of this intervention that was it was not a war more than a war was intervention uh, the news uh, were fake saying that the Serbians took Kosovars uh, uh, as prisoners. Uh, that was fake. Uh, we learned that it was the militia financed by the United States that uh, uh, did that. The ethnical uh, cleansing of former Yugoslavia has been suffered by Serbians, especially NATO. Uh, just passed over international uh, law and uh, took over the uh, te television in Belgrade and local television. And what they did is bombard uh, certain goals or targets, just like the Chinese embassy. All these are humanitarian crimes. Uh, and uh, uh, they never, they ju judged, uh, they never judged the NATO generals, of course. Therefore, these uh, sanctions are not uh, uh, injustice because uh, if there were international justice, they uh, would judge all the people responsible, not only some. I ask you, uh, did they uh, choose Yugoslavia because it was an important political center, roots of raw material, the possibility of surrounding Russia and creating a bridge from from uh, Western Europe to the Near and Middle East. What uh, did the Balkans represent geostrategically? Uh, the Balkans, uh, Yugoslavia, was a nation with uh, a, a young history. They are all Slavic. They use, uh, 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 even if they write differently, they have the same language. For example, the Albanian, but most uh, 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 of Yugoslavia had the same language. And uh, to the north, they were part of the Austro-Hungarian, and to the south, the uh, Ottoman and Turkish Empire. At that time, uh, Kosovo was a weak point spot of Russia and many slave uh, people, Slavic people. Um, in prior moments, and especially to, uh, during the Second World War, abandoned the uh, friendship links, especially after uh, uh, the war. Europe must recognize that uh, the European uh, Union uh, let uh, Germany uh, try to recover its ancient uh, uh, empire. Slovenia wanted to go back uh, to the German uh, uh, area and uh, they de they declared independence to get into the European Union and NATO. That is not uh, uh, that means to be some kind of independence. They knew what they wanted and. Uh, they left Yugoslavia a sovereign nation to be part of, uh, uh, to become independent and become part of NATO, where uh, capitals are commanded by Germany and especially military are part of NATO. That is a club handled by uh, Washington. So they are actually not independent. The sovereignty uh, of NATO is very restricted and they have to follow the interests of capital. And Yugoslavia, uh, even if included Serbia and Montenegro, that uh, it was not. Uh, 
as important, but it was a mirror to look at in the sense that another economy, another uh, model was possible. We all know that the capitalism is unfair uh, with the inequalities and wars and does not allow countries to be disobe disobedient with the dictatorship of the empire. And this we see continuously. This uh, Yugoslavian war was not nothing else that uh, and uh, an explosion that has been repeated in the last years in Afghanistan, Iraq, Somalia, Libya. And I understand that uh, if at this time a, Rus a Russian government existed at the time in 1999, uh, uh, that war wouldn't have happened. Uh, Putin's uh, position has stopped the United States in many cases. This, but uh, Russia was not what it uh, is uh, uh, at the at the moment. Some hours ago, uh, we uh, saw uh, the anniversary of the crime committed uh, in Yugoslavia, and we listened to uh, Sergei Lavrov, foreign affairs minister of Russia, say that. NATO's attack was a violation to any international law, humanitarian uh, rights, because strictly civilian uh, targets were hit. I uh, ask you, what happens with foreign policy, international law, and this world, uh, post-war world uh, architecture, including the United Nations, because without uh, uh, NATO performed this war without uh, uh, the authorization of the United Nations? Yes, there are two layers of international law. The first is that the statute uh, of uh, the United Nations was completely violated. Uh, they didn't have uh, the authorization of the United Nations and uh, Without that, uh, civilian uh, buildings cannot be bombarded, uh, bombarded and uh, weapons as they use could not be used. At that time, uh, uh, the uh, Security Council had a Chinese veto, and uh, uh, it pay, China paid because its embassy was bombarded in Bel Belgrade. The second thing is that uh, there must be a court, an international court, that judges what actually are uh, lawful and what which are not uh, according to international law what uh, uh, crimes are uh, humanitarian and which are not the United States has continuously refused to recognize the jurisdiction of the Hague uh, courts to recognize uh, uh, US soldiers crimes there is no power that commits more uh, violations and genocides against humanity than the United States. So, they never recognize other jurisdictions than their own courts, the United States. I can pass this to Venezuela. Uh, the international community does not exist, and uh, uh, you only listen to the empire. But uh, most nations recognize a self-proclaimed uh, president in the case of Venezuela, and they just follow what the United States says, that uh, uh, human rights are uh, being violated. Uh, but this is not so. We are always... The world knows that if a nation takes its own decisions to favor their own citizens, they will have the United States against it. This uh, reminds us every uh, now and then. Thank you very much for your contribution, Carlos. We have now interesting data on the correlation of forces and what at the time the European Union meant.
We will now look in the work I was recommending at the beginning, published in Sputnik, and that was uh, broadcast yesterday. Uh, the following countries that participated in the bombardings, we were counting 13, starting by Canada, United States on this side of the world, Norway, Denmark, UK, Netherlands, Belgium, Germany, Austria, Germany, France, Spanish, Portugal, or what happened? with Austria, Slovenia, Hungary, Romania. These uh, countries provided access, uh, airspace access to NATO aircraft. And in blue, we have Yugoslavia in the center of all attacks. Turkey in red was also included in the countries or governments that uh, with the corresponding armed forces participated in the bombardments uh, perpetrated by NATO. We ask if if the Kosovo model was exportable later, if it's the same thing that they applied later to destroy Pan-Arabism, Pan-Africanism, anything that represents uh, uh, an individual uh, alternative after the colonies. And the question is if uh, uh, our imperial powers trying to export this fragmentation model, including Venezuela, we will deepen and analyze this uh, with our guest after the second pause. Crime in Yugoslavia, the NATO's war model successful and exportable 20 years later. Yugoslavia was left in ruins and it disappeared from the maps as we were saying. We want to see at the beginning of interference all people involved in correlation of forces. The bombing of NATO to Yugoslavia 20 years ago are 13 countries uh, armed forces participated. Canada, United States, Norway, UK, Denmark, Netherlands, Belgium, France, Germany, Spain, Portugal, Italy, and Turkey. Austria, Austria, Hungary, Croatia, Slovenia, Romania, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Macedonia and Albania allowed access to NATO aircraft uh, through its airspace to be uh, uh, to have more effective uh, bombardments. 30 military and submarine ships of NATO against 100 air defense lances. Launchers. Most uh, aircraft of Yugoslavia and armed forces were obsolete or uh, were not operative. Nevertheless, this country could oppose resistance that was decisive both by air and land. In 1996, Albanese terrorists uh, perpetrated the first attacks against civilians and police. In, Serb, in Kosovo. In 1997, Kosovo's released army ELK proclaimed fight to free Albanese from the Serbian occupation. Kosovo received uh, uh, an arsenal of illegal weapons from Albania. 1999, leader of VLK is faced by security forces. The West accuses Belgrade of excessive use of force. UN Security Council supported uh, requirements to for ceasefire in Kosovo and the initiation of negotiations between both parties. A mission from the uh, Organization for Security and Cooperation of Europe goes to Kosovo in the midst of attacks uh, uh, that increased. In 1999, agents of uh, Yugoslavian security forces killed several Albanese terrorists in an operation in the middle village of uh, Kosovo of Rakak. The mission of a uh, qualified maid of massacre to civilian population just for the subsequent attack. There was a report uh, to civilian uh, that was uh, prepared by uh, 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 OSC. It was used as a justification to attack Yugoslavia. In February, negotiations between representatives of Yugoslavia and Albano Kosovars in Rambulet took place. Russia, USA, and the EU uh, acted as mediators, and the dialogue uh, uh, failed by conditions that Belgrade uh, called 
unacceptable. In March, the OSO mission abandoned Kosovo. The uh, NATO Secretary General Javier Solano begins military operation at a great scale and on the 21st started uh, bombarding without uh, approval of the United Nations Security Council. After 78 continued days of bombing, the balance was 3,500 uh, deaths and the disappearance of Yugoslavia from the uh, map. NATO says it was necessary and legitimate because uh, of the ethnical uh, cleansing of Albanese population in Kosovo. After this chronology and after we are looking how the correlation of forces uh, took place in this war, we now have the opportunity of continuing uh, deepening Mar Marianela was in situ experience in several situations of war. Marianela, you were there 10 days. Tell us your experience, please. Yes, I was in Yugoslavia, Belgrade, uh, uh, during the bombardments of NATO, made by NATO, called uh, uh, Allied Force. Italy was bombarding still, so I saw from the ground what the Italian government was doing to against his people. I uh, was there during uh, the bombardments to the uh, Chinese uh, embassy, a so-called uh, accident. And I also witnessed the two main bombardments against the Fiat uh, facilities uh, where workers lost their uh, jobs and uh, uh, when they started repairing the factory, it seemed that uh, many uh, ha had cancer, probably due to the effects of bombardment uh, and the projectiles used with uh, impoverished uranium, which means a war that uh, never ends. All the results of destruction of a war, uh, bridges were rebuilt. Uh, this was also a target of uh, NATO. China rebuilt these uh, bridges. Nevertheless, nobody uh, paid, and we must always say that uh, that uh, there is complete impunity. NATO destroyed many things, destroyed human lives with uh, false pretexts, as you have uh, you have reported. Uh, it did not pay, and uh, uh, the uh, special the uh, attorney of the special case for Yugoslavia in an interview said, uh, yes, uh, we were willing to investigate on NATO, but uh, Western capitals did not uh, gave us, uh, refuse to uh, give us materials. There's a clear video about this, so impunity continues to this day. What uh, makes this impunity possible to this day? I was uh, asking our former guest uh, regarding the aggression started without uh, the approval of United Nations. So what happens with the grounds of the famous world post-war architecture? Yes, uh, these are uh, 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 things that are repeated on the post-war agreement. Uh, Nothing will happen with the architecture of law. And the economic architecture, sometimes uh, you can see colonization. Now in Belgrade, there is uh, colonizing, Western colonizing economy. There are Western banks. And what was uh, relative economic independence, they tried to finish it. At the same time, we see that uh, from Italy, we see that uh, the Serbian government uh, is trying to continue the alliance with Russia and China, but at the same time, uh, they are approaching the West 
So there's a certain ambiguity, but there's also ambiguity among the protesters. Uh, the protests in Serbia, many people ask, who are they? They are protesting for social reasons? No, they are mostly political, and sometimes they are being manipulated by uh, uh, persons who are f uh, favorable to the West, like the former mayor of Belgrade. They also had warimbas there because uh, this uh, happens all over, and they tried to enter the National Assembly with uh, a weapon that was not uh, proper. If this happened in Italy, they would c kill him. It seems that uh, such uh, deep uh, wounds do not allow uh, a re any possibility of rebirth. Do you see it in this way? When a country is divided, of course, it's very difficult for the country to uh, unite. As you said, uh, upon the idea of finishing the independence, of course, they were very successful. In the cases of Yugoslavia, they were very successful. And we must not forget the role of Kosovo, because um, the so-called liberators of the army for the independence of Kosovo, we mustn't forget that these were terrorists and drug traffickers. They, this was discovered later in Kosovo now is in a road of uh, the great Al Al Albany and that we mustn't forget that Albany was a project very close to Italian fascism. During the Second World War, uh, you could see pictures of uh, fascist Italian occupants and the Partigiani of Tito struggled against fascism, but these uh, fascists were allied from uh, two uh, Kosovan, uh, and we mustn't forget this history because it's repeated. In Syria, in these past years, they also discovered terrorists that came from Kosovo. And that uh, Clinton uh, put Kosovo in power. There's uh, a statue of Clinton that is huge, a very tall statue in the center of Pristina. NATO Secretary of Prince uh, called the death of civilians after these aggressive air force as a collateral damage, which seems unbelievable, but uh, it is something that has remained throughout time because this model has been exposed to other spaces around the geography. It started with the first Gulf War in 1991. Oh, they started saying this was the collateral effect of a humanitarian uh, fair war of the international community against the so-called dictator. And this is repeated all over. It's a shame and full and criminal thing. Uh, uh, children were never under bombarding, and that was lucky for him and his family, but it's unbelievable how uh, Albright, uh, Clinton's secretary, uh, uh, who said that, uh, yes, uh, 500,000 children died in Iraq, but yes, this was something that we had to do. And this is repeated uh, all over. Collateral damages should have been studied by uh, jurists, and the international law should not allow them. Also because there's uh, much confusion, and collateral damage is very clear. In Belgrade, for example, I saw a hospital that was not bombarded, but uh, there were also outages, outages due to air attacks because uh, they hit the elect uh, electrical uh, stations to cause more damage. So pediatricians were very concerned because there were small children in incubators. Mm, another detail that ha what happened with these children, I found one that was very small. I don't know if he survived. 
The media also had the role as well as global cooperations and NGOs. I would like to share with our public and you this material about Milosevic and then we continue analyzing. In 2016, 10 years after uh, Yugoslavian President Milosevic strangely died, the International The Hague uh, Court uh, considered that there was no responsibility by the former president of the crime of Bosnia between 1993 and 1995. In the court unanimously said that uh, he had no responsibility in the uh, ethnical cleansing of Bosnia. Milosevic was satanized by the few uh, uh, media, of, and he was called the uh, butcher of the Balkans. He was even uh, compared with Hitler, accused of genocide, uh, uh, massive violations. With this brutal media campaign, the economic sanctions were multiplied and bombardings as well. He passed uh, his last five years in prison and his death uh, was in the midst of a uh, series of doubts. They said it was a heart attack, but 73 hours later, his attorneys uh, sent a letter uh, declaring that he had been uh, poisoned. The Hague uh, court uh, speculated that Milosevic's death uh, could have as intellectual authors the powers, uh, economic and political powers. This could uh, uh, have led to Milosevic being declared innocent. I would like to ask you about the actions of the media. The media happened once and again since in all the wars I uh, have uh, witnessed uh, from the side of victims, I still live in the aggressor uh, country, Italy, and the same thing is repeated, the same words, and also repeated are uh, after a war ends and everything is destroyed, they say, well, uh, it didn't uh, happen as the media says, and it wasn't exactly so, but it's too late, like the international court, so after the death of Milosevic recognized uh, that he was innocent. If we take away the name of the country and the name of the person, you can uh, uh, replicate in Libya, Syria, Iran, the sketch is the same. They satanize it, that then the war passes, and then the media accompany the war. It's a weapon, a massive destruction weapon, the Western media. And uh, and approximately the same happens. I remember very well 1999 in Italy, a very important uh, weekly journal at the time uh, called uh, Hitler Ozevic. Uh, he started calling him uh, and uh, forgetting that Italy had a fascist dictatorship uh, and that the, uh, many Yugoslavians uh, died ag uh, fighting against the uh, Italian fascist dictator and Nazism. So it's unbelievable that uh, lessons are not taken from history. History is repeated. Very recent history is included. If we start studying all military actions since 1991, uh, also, uh, always a Western community of all parties because uh, governments of center-left, of the so-called left, uh, extreme right, all uh, those governments uh, carry a uh, bombardings, and the sketch is the same. We must study all similarities. Regarding the simula similarities and differences in this century, we must uh, also look at uh, Venezuela and the coup with uh, uh, these experts in destroying countries, for example, the National Security Advisor John Bolton. 
Elliot Abrams, Elliot. Eh, A Abrams and his relation Contra, with uh, Iran Contra eh, scandal, the last uh, 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 commercial attaches sent to Venezuela also worked in uh, those places. For example, Lee McLean was uh, uh, in Kosovo during the bombardments. Is that casual? The, does this allow us uh, to uh, talk about an, a hypothesis of an exportable war? We hope that in the case of Venezuela, this uh, doesn't happen. No, I think that in the case of Venezuela, it won't happen because there are different uh, international and internal circumstances, but they do try. The model ex is exported with the same uh, uh, experts. The same experts go to Iraq and Syria, and then they meet uh, elsewhere. Elsewhere, Mr. Abrams was very active, as uh, uh, people said, in the coups in Central America, and they tried to do it. I see that uh, the world today is more prepared. So this axis of war has the force of bombarding. If they do a bombard, they finish a country. But it's not easier now. And this axis of war of the Western countries, NATO and its allies, basically in the uh, Near East, their work is harder today because uh, some mistakes in the past and other countries that are not part of this axis of war, as I call it, uh, are, uh, uh, know that they have to resist more in many sense and many ways. We hope this model is not repeated, but uh, we must study it and we must, uh, I always say that, a way uh, of, uh, of making an alliance among the victims as the United States States does it. If a Coca-Cola doesn't have enough sugar, they uh, perform a class action. Uh, there's, we need a mass action uh, by and for the victims of NATO and the United States and its allies. This uh, will be very powerful. And uh, um, because if they know they have to pay, and if they had to pay indemnities to the victims and uh, for damages, they would uh, uh, become very poor. They couldn't be able to make another war because they wouldn't have enough money. So impunity, we must end impunity. This is crucial. And we need an alliance of countries of peace and people of peace uh, for the struggle against the impunity is performed uh, internationally, politically, legally, through the media. Thank you very much, Marinela, for being with us. We now go to our conclusions. The interventionist uh, politic of uh, to destroy whole nations, the pain they caused were called collateral uh, damage. A campaign of bombarding that uh, was extended for 78 uninterrupted days then that caused 2,500 uh, uh, death toll, uh, even if the figure varies. So many bombs were uh, launched with impoverished uh, uranium, but the main uh, damage was the long term. The uh, definite change of uh, 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 world, a false pretext used for intervention today the countries changed and context changed. This is how they uh, fractured Pan-Arabism, Pan-Africanism. And this leads us to ask, is this a global trend to a world uh, neo-colonization? 
We must finish with impunity at all levels. We now end our critical move today. Thank you for being with us about the 20 years of the Yugoslavian crime and the NATO successful war model.